All right, 2K fans, this is your boy, Juke King the Boss, coming at you with the Jump Shot Creation uh, video. Now, this one is a guide, some tips and tricks when it comes to creating your jump shot, creating your unique jump shot. And so I want to go over a couple of things with you. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you footage of the jump shot that I'm going to create in the video at work and uh, in the park. Now, I mess with a lot of jump shots, uh, but... I always want to make sure I'm creating ones that are unique to me, that, that feel comfortable to me. Um, so first of all, I want to show you a few things, some important things uh, that I want to go over real quick. Uh, if you look at my ball handling and my ball control is at 74, my speed with ball is at 64. Uh, speed and acceleration itself are both at 75. My mid range uh, almost is almost at a 90, so it you know caps out at 88 contested, um, 85 uh, open and 80 mid. Um, and then my three-point shot caps out 76 contested, 74 open, and 72 uh, uh, moving. Now, when it comes down to it, um, creating your creating your jump shot uh, should be a process in which you look at the type of jump shot you want to go over. But I want to show y'all my my skills, and I want to show y'all a couple of badges that I have. Now, a lot of people go to the park, they want to catch bodies, they want to catch ankles, um, and they also want to posterize. And I just wanted to create me a two-way shot creator uh, that can play defense and create his own shot. But at the same time, I got bronze posterizer and uh, bronze ankle breaker, no boost, and I go to the park and I catch ankles, you know. And I got nothing but simple, uh, simple, um dribbling moves when it comes down to all my dribbling moves they're all simple i'm gonna show you those real quick and then we're gonna jump directly into the jump shot creator but you can skip ahead a little bit if you just want to go into the guy for the jump shot so real quick i wanted y'all to take a quick look at the signature moves that i have you know my my dribbles um and just kind of show you that i go to the park with these normal dribble moves normal two normal two normal three and things like that and i catch ankles i catch bodies and i have a lot of fun doing it so um what essentially i'm, I'm saying about that is is that you can still catch bodies with these normal dribble moves with these with these subpar dribble moves um uh, if you have that ankle breaker at bronze you don't need it at all at Hall of Fame, you don't need it at gold. Gold and Hall of Fame just kind of like supposed to increase the percentage. But as of right now, like what what the, the, the moves you chain together and the, the kind of how you catch your defender off guard a little bit are going to kind of set them up. And then if you can see, I'm I, in the last videos, the previous videos I've been doing, I was using test jump shot number two. Uh, I really like the release of that jump shot. I'm going to go over in details and you'll see what that jump shot looks like. And at the end of the by the end of the video, what you're going to see is you're going to see the jump shot in action that I'm going to create in the video. Um, and at the same time, you, we're going to go... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be able to show you how to put together jump shots that that look that look great to you that you can that you can see its cue that you can uh, see its form its release and get that get the pinnacle of it to a point where you'll be able to cash out all the time and and at that point I'm gonna start seeing some of the greatest jump shots created in the game put together by the rest of the community let's go over this jump shot and how to create the best ones all right, so now we're in the thick of things. Okay, so when it comes down to creating my jump shot, the first thing the first thing is is understand that the the jump shot base dictates the speed uh, at which you reach the pinnacle of your jump shot. Um, that gives you your marginal window for how 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 quick you gotta press the button or how quick you gotta flick the stick. So I went with jump shot 63 as a base. Um, I like the motion. It's a very it's a very it's not a very quick motion. It's a nice normal quick motion, which gives me which gives me marginal error going in the pro am, going in the park. But I use it mostly for park. Now upper release one is Paul George and upper release two is um, Steph Curry. Now when it comes down to it, upper release one dictates form upper release two dictates release so as you can see i went with more of a 60 60 percent blend of the form 40 percent blend of the release now usually i go the other way i'll usually go 40 percent of the form 60 percent of the release uh or um or uh or, or follow through release two is literally the follow through release one is form uh so i always play around with it and as you can see the more i lean toward that the the more you can see that release that flick a lot better now i like paul george's form when it comes down to it keeps the elbows up and it 
allows me to have a follow through that I can really truly see. So I play a lot more now without my uh without my um my shot meter. So when it comes down to it, as you can see, I'm a I'm a play around with the blend. And as you can see the Paul George, you see how if I go closer to his blend, it kind of it kind of he brings the arms up a little higher. But if I blend it right, if I blend it just right, I can get that nice release. Uh, between Paul George and uh, Steph Curry. And I keep playing around with this because I'm still looking for an even sharper release of the two uh, that really works with me. I'm going to be playing around with a lot of different jump shots, but I'm going to show y'all my, my other one, my John Wall Steph Curry blend. Now, Steph Curry, I usually use a lot of times for my release two because of that flick of the wrist. So with John Wall, I went with a 58-42 blend and a D'Angelo Russell bass. Um, D'Angelo Russell has a nice bass for me that allows me to kind of really control the speed of that motion, control the speed of that follow through. It's not a fast, uh, it's not a fast motion, but if you look at it, John Wall has a nice bend of the arms. Um, I like Steph Curry's release though, because that, that wrist is a snap flick, so you can see that snap flick and that gives you the pinnacle of your jump shot. I find myself hitting more excellent shots. I can hit from deep with this shot. Um, I can hit really well with this shot. So uh, I usually like to make sure I got a nice form and a nice follow through. Now, and another thing that the base will also do, the depending on the kind of base that you have, the kind of vertical that they use, they'll go up and uh, like if they go up on like a lean or they go up straight, it changes a little bit of the form. So we're gonna go over, I'm gonna build a brand new jump shot right here. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start by, start by always adjusting my base, figuring out which base I wanna go with, and then I figure out my second release. Um, so I wanted to try a Russell Westbrook base because I like Russell Westbrook's bounce, that, that vertical bounce he gets up there. Um, and as you can see, you look at that, that Russell Westbrook base with LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's like, oh my goodness, it's, it's really, really bad. So um, I, wanted to, I wanted to first play around with the release one. Um, but as you can see, as I'm looking at the release ones, it still look more like release two follow through. So that's where the blending speed is going to come in. And uh, I'm looking at seeing who got a nice little bend of the wrist. I always want to try something new. But when it boils down to it, I know that I'm going to have that Steph Curry, that Steph Curry two for my for my follow through, for my release, my main release. Um, so I wanted to check out. I was I'm thinking about building a, a Dion Waiters uh, combo archetype. I mean combo uh, combo setup. But when it comes down to it. As you can see, if you just look at the motions, like you can still see so much of the Marcus Aldridge in that jump shot uh, that it hurts. And this is when you're just highlighting which releases you want to go with. So I don't like the the follow through of Lamarcus Aldridge in the game. So that's when it's just one of those things where it's like, all right, let me skip ahead and let me cut together. Uh, let me cut together upper release two first, and then come back to release one because if you don't pick your upper release two. Uh, it's gonna kind of hurt you when it comes to your blending because at least when you got your upper release two, you get the way that they position themselves to release the ball. All right, so I, as you can see, as soon as I change it to that Steph Curry, you see that Steph Curry kind of follow through. So now when I go back and I started and I start changing the release one, I look at the other release ones, you can see a lot better fluidity in the motion. Now, as you make that fluidity a lot better, by uh, changing your release speeds, your uh, well, not change your release speeds. I almost never change my release speed. So I wanted to see, I wanted to test out the Magic Johnson, Steph Curry that people were using last year um, by putting Magic Johnson's first, Steph Curry's second, and then finding a the proper blend speed. And I think I can make this one work. That's going to be a new jumper that I'm going to mess around with because as you can see, you see the difference when I start to move it more to the right. And that's actually a lot different than when you look at it. See, you think that if I put Steph 1 uh, for release 1 and Magic for release 2, that it would be the same if I go 80-20 as opposed to 20-80. But when you then come out of the jump shot creator and you go look at that jump shot being shot, it actually looks like it's been flipped already. So when it comes down to using release one, use that as your form. And then release two, use that as your follow through. That right there will help you build better looking jump shots. And when it comes down to testing them out, your, your uh, success rate 
will be a lot better because your jump shot is gonna look like the one that you're creating. So I'm gonna test this Magic Johnson out, but I'm gonna, uh, at one point I'm gonna change the, uh, the, the base of it to, um, to really kind of get going uh, with it. But I took I took this jump shot I took this jump shot time and, and and set up and I did take it to the park and like I said once again I'm always looking I said okay I like that Magic Johnson Steph Curry release factor combo the way it blends and everything so then I started saying all right let me check out some other ones I plan on doing one uh, a, a Michael Jordan one I gave this information to a friend of mine who who I played the park with and uh, I told him I said try this out try out you know uh, Michael Jordan's base because he knows Michael Jordan's um uh speed of a shot so i said trial michael jordan base um and then go with michael jordan release uh release one as the form and then go with uh, uh, uh steph curry release two as the um so for the follow-through and then once you do that i told him i said then change the blend speed to about 25 75 and let me know how that comes out he took he, he tried it he tested it out he said it works really well for him he said it feels like he's shooting like jordan but he can see the flick a lot better and that that gives him more more green releases more excellent releases so when it comes down to building perfect jump shots it's all about first of all a lot of people say it um but i, I mean i heard this from agent mainly it's all about making sure you can see that cue um and when you see that cue to me that cue is all about seeing when the motion changes from form to release that's what i look for when that changes from form to release because that lets me know i'm at the pinnacle of the shot by releasing it at that point i get put myself in the highest percentage to score so always play around with things like this uh blend your animations i wanted to try one of these amateur three animations it's one of these amateur animations that has a really really weird bend of the elbow and when i find it i'm gonna put together a jump shot using it and i'm gonna test that joint out because the really weird bend of it i if, if i'm correct that bend is so weird that it has literally the easiest cue to set up and then all you need is the perfect base to go with it and you can almost hit greens every time when i test that i'm gonna let y'all know there are certain animation blends that do depend on having a 50 50 blend or or 49 50 blend because they're so they're so off from each other or they're too similar to each other that you need just enough of the blend to um to make it stand out so i played around with i played around with some uh with some different setups and the results that i got uh were promising and so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep testing out more and more jump shots but just to recap when it comes down to creating a jump shot the first thing you always choose is your base that gives you your your jumping animation that lets you know the speed of which uh, at which you hit the, uh, the top of your shot and then the form and the form is release one the uh follow through is release two and by choosing the ones that you want so remember what form is and form is the, the the motion at which you palm the ball and bring it up to shoot so if you want one of those ones where it's not like they kind of bend down you want to make sure you pick a nice base that kind of goes straight up uh and if you want one that doesn't bend down make sure you pick a form where the instead of the elbow is kind of popping out you might want one of those ones where it's like he just pushes straight off and everything like that so look at those things and make those the deciding factors into the jump shot you go with then i'm gonna show y'all a little footage of uh of this jump shot that i put together in at, uh in, in action and quite frankly i mean this jump shot was hitting for me I, I mean i don't like to be the one who's the top scorer playing in the park but when I, i'm gonna test this out in pro-am later on today and really see what i can do but this magic johnson steph curry blend that i put together so far with the amateur three base it really is nice i, I gotta try it again with um with uh, Russell Westbrook but let's let's jump into the game footage showing you what this looks like all right and this is what I like to call 60 seconds of fury where I'm just gonna unleash this new jump shot I, I'm cre I created on the on the playground you know what if you like the video man make sure you leave a like let me know if this video helped you out when it comes down to giving you information on how to create jump shots that fit your play style that fit your shooting style maybe you find a jump shot that fits you um, by finding the perfect blend and just enjoy these sweet buckets a lot of excellent releases like I said I've learned to start shooting without the without the um, without the the shot meter 
and I, at one point I'm gonna record a video of me shooting with the shot meter just to see uh, what my cue looks like and and coincide with with what it all drops down to man I'll catch you guys on the next video but before I go I just want y'all to check this out I'm gonna come back behind the three cuz I want to see the range my man ain't want to check me get it out the net hits me in the corner I'm gonna knock that down real quick grab the board after they tried to make that comeback I decided it's time for them to go home <laughs>